Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Here we are not on a normal install of Kerbal Space Program, but instead, as you can tell by the massive planet in the background, we are playing RSS. As you can see there, his Hawaii. So yeah, this series actually is going to be kind of interesting because... It's not just going to be me playing RSS, it's going to be a little bit competitive as my friend and fellow YouTuber, Nixiality, also formerly known as Synchronese, you guys might have seen him on the channel before, um, yeah, he wants to um, challenge me, basically, to, uh, to RSS. So yeah, we'll see how it goes, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Neither of us have ever played any um, form of RSS um, before, so yeah, this, this will be quite interesting. This will really be quite interesting. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start a new save. And we're going to be doing a career mode. And uh, we're going to be calling this save Hercules Aerospace. Because if you guys don't know, I did a kind of tournament style thing with all my SSTOs that I made in Dragon Aerospace. Uh, I did like a tournament, like elimination type thing. And Hercules won that by by quite a big margin uh hercules was the most popular ssto for obvious reasons it's the biggest it's the most powerful so yeah we're gonna be calling ourselves hercules aerospace in memory of that wonderful wonderful ssto okay so here we are in the um loaded into the loaded into the ksc here let's go ahead and warp to sunrise um kind of want it to be daytime when we start up our space program here, there we go, go ahead and let the sun rise a little bit, there we go. Okay. So yeah, here we go, here is our KSC, our Kerbal Space Center. And yeah, there's quite a few things we can do. Uh, I don't really want to mess with the tracking station right now. Okay, I gotta close that, okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, there, there is quite a few things that we gotta look at first before we um, get to things. Obviously, this is a career mode save, so we have mission control, administration, all that stuff. But yeah, let's first check out the astronaut complex. Um, the Kerbals that we start off with is, yeah, they're not the uh, the original four. We have Charlotte, Jorg, yeah, uh, Stacy, and Stephanie. Um, and yeah, all their, the last names aren't all Kerman. Makes more sense <laughs> than all the last names being Kerman. Um, but yeah, that, those are our four astronauts, our Kerbonauts. Uh, if we head into the R&D building, we'll see that we have the starting parts right here. So we have a bunch of parts to start off with, and we can purchase these for 1,000, uh, 132, and I think we will. We'll go ahead and do that. So there we go. now we own all the starting parts. Um, and then, yeah, we need a bit more science to get more post-war rocketry um, and early solid rockets. So yeah, as you can see, the year is 1951. So this is right after World War II, obviously, at the start of the space race. So yeah, there's a lot of, um, like, early, like, post-war, um, technologies and stuff. But yeah, we definitely need to get some science in order to unlock all this stuff, so we'll go ahead and get some, get some science. And speaking of stuff, we also need to go to Mission Control. And we need to accept our first contract. We have RP0 right here. We have three offered contracts. Oh, here we go. I got her down there. Okay, so milestones. We have first launch. Um, so yeah, we just need to reach 1,000 meters. This seems pretty easy. We can go ahead and accept that. And then down here, what we got? Records. Uncrewed altitude record of 10 kilometers. Uncrewed speed record. Oh, and we just have these by default. Okay. So these are just like... These are just kind of like achievements and stuff. We have these and these never expire. Okay. And yeah, let's go ahead and design our first rocket. We got quite a bit of money to design our first rocket. I think I might start with this booster. I was messing around with this a bit earlier. Um, actually, off camera. Just to kind of make sure everything was working. And I did find that this booster was um, quite good. This Tiny Tim booster got a funny name. Yeah, we got quite a few mods, like I said. Um, 
exactly. Yeah, there's quite there's yeah, there's quite a few options when it comes to building things. I think yeah, we will start with this. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just chuck some basic fins on it. Go maybe three way symmetry on here. There we go. And then we can go for a decoupler. Go for a second stage. There we go. So that looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a tank on here. Okay, we can go ahead and reduce the size of the cylinder. Not by that much, but you get the idea. Also increase the length a bit. There we go. Does this actually sit in here? I feel like this is supposed to like sit in here. Just have it like sit up there. I think maybe it's supposed to. No, maybe it's supposed to go like that. I feel like probably like that would be right. Um, but yeah, I think it's supposed to be offset in there. It just seems that seems better to me. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and increase the length of this a little bit. And let's check our. Um, our staging so nope so we got this it's got 36 that's got nothing because there's no fuel in here we have to um i'll put up the tank ui and i believe this takes kerosene highly pressurized false it's high pressure kerosene hp steel fuselage okay there we go so that's that's um that's highly pressurized that gives our thing delta v down here highly pressurized question mark true okay it is highly pressurized Oh, it needs alanine, IR, FNA, or nitrogen. Okay, it needs, like, hypergolic stuff. Maybe we can sneak a third stage on here? Yeah, I think maybe this R103 booster we can try and sneak on here. Um, as just, like, a final stage to get us the rest of the way up and very high up. The rest of the way very high up. Yes. Although we do need to bring an avionics core. So maybe these would be too small. Yeah. Because we haven't even put the avionics on it yet. So yeah, avionics are also procedural. Um, we can set this to the size we need. Because that size is obviously way too big. So that kind of matches our rocket a bit better. Looks a bit nicer. And we have um, start avionics. Okay, so we got, I guess we kind of, I guess we kind of got to make it pretty long. Okay. These are early avionics. They're not they're not the best. Okay. What if I crank down the controllable mass? Like we probably don't need that much controllable mass. So let's go for point 2 and then yeah, I still want to do that. There we go. Okay, we'll see if that works. That's got more electric charge and it's not trying to control things. Okay, and we can add the INRFA. So we got a bit of extra fuel up here. That's pretty good. We might want more fins, actually, on our second stage. Like so. There, right, that's looking kind of cool. It's looking rocket-like. Okay. Parachute stack, double, whoa. Yeah, and then we have to go to action groups for, for these. Okay, earth. Crux size, perfect, okay. And then we can go and put a nose cone on here, and we should be good to go with our little sounding rocket. Let's go ahead and chuck on a procedural nose cone. Uh, let's call this, because this booster is called the Tiny Tim, and we added more to it. This is the Big Tim. Bigger, better, faster, stronger. Okay. And then we can go ahead and attach a modular launch pad to it. Probably just a... I don't know, a milk stool. Yeah, we got lo to tons of launch towers. Saturn V launch towers, all this stuff. Okay, we are ready to go. We're ready to launch Big Tim. Okay, I think I think this will work. So yeah, we'll go ahead and simulate this. Here we go, rocket. Okay, go and throttle up, and then we can get our second stage going. Oh. Annaline 22 is not responding. Okay, it wants aniline 22. We did not give it aniline 22, and now it's upset at us. Again, I guess that's why the simulator's here. So you can figure out stupid things like that. Okay, engine. Oh, there I hit fill. And now the engine's happy. Okay, I just have to hit that fill button. Okay. So we're ready to launch it for real. Moment of truth. So anyway, I'm gonna go and click on this. We're gonna go and open up the sensors. Uh, the science. Go ahead and start everything running. And lift off. 
Going up the throttle to max. Lift off again. Come on. Status failed. Cause failed to ignite. Okay, we literally just had a, a failure then. Yeah, okay. So that was a failure. So that's very unlucky. I probably should have turned off failures in, um, in simulations. I probably would have been a smart. Okay. It's fine, though. At least we know it can fail now. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, it does need all the different um, ratios together. That, that, that was our problem. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tri-propellant fuel. It's a tri-propellant engine. Very interesting. Okay, up we go. Up we go. Whoa, we're going. We are going. Maybe a bit of spin stabilization wouldn't go amiss here. But we are flying. Okay, when is our science going to start being useful? Okay, I think we might need to go higher. Yeah, we didn't quite make it to a point where our science is actually useful. So we need we need then another stage, I think. Yeah. To be honest, instead of this bulky avionics core, I'll probably just do another stage. And then we'll have the upper stage with just this um, sounding rocket telemetry unit. I think that'll work the best. Do another um, Aero B upper stage. Uh, but this but this next one, we're going to spin stabilize it. Because, yeah, or we, need, we need to start spin stabilizing it. Because otherwise we may not do well. But at least that was a good test. So yeah, let's go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and bulk this up now that I know what I'm doing. And I'll see you guys when I get to uh, a pretty nice rocket, hopefully. Okay, well I just ran some tests and this all works. Had some issues with ullage, so I added some small motors to make sure these engines can actually ignite. Um, basically, if the fuel's not at the bottom of the tank, the engines can't light, so... Yeah, whenever we staged, the, all the fuel sloshed to the top, and then... Yeah, there's nothing I can really do about that. So, that's all fixed now. Uh, set the science experiments to constantly be waiting, so they'll just kind of go as soon as we launch. And yeah, I think we're pretty much good. So one last thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we tool everything. So go ahead and tool. And purchase that. Go ahead and tool. And purchase that. And do we need to purchase tool any of this? Probably this, right? No, I think that's it. Um, I think it's just those tanks, and then, yeah, we can go ahead and build, uh, one of these. Integration costs, it's pretty cheap. Rollout costs, pretty good. Okay, launch. So now if we show the build list, there you go. Added big Tim to the build list. So obviously this is going to take an extremely amount of time. We need to actually upgrade our build times. Um, we have one total point. We can go ahead and put that into rate 1 VAB. And that gives us point 0.1 building seconds. We can actually get a couple more build points with some more funds. So yeah, I think we'll put more funds and we'll get some more VAB upgrade points. There we go. So now it's only going to take yeah, 88 days to build this. Okay, it's building another one, I think. Vessels... Yes, it's building another one. That's that's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, we got a big Tim in storage. Go ahead and roll that out to the launch pad. Okay, and we're ready to launch. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. But here we go. Let's hope I don't mess up the staging here. Looks all good. Okay, go. Okay, so far so good. The rocket is spin stabilizing. Hope we had a failure on one of the solids. That's fine. I'd rather the solids fail instead of the main engine. This thing should burn. Should get us to a nice high apoapsis. Okay, let's go and coast up. Tight. Oh, shoot. Engine didn't ignite. Oh, gosh. Okay, engine didn't ignite there. Um, had a vapor and feed lines issue. And now we're just coming back down with the science. We're not going to get any science from this. But, um, yeah, that was a good first test. There we go. There's our parachute. But yeah, there we go. First successful launch and recovery. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. 
it's tying up the parachute lines, though. That's <laughs> uh, fine. Oh, they're spinning. Whee! Spinny spin. Yeah, I probably don't need two. I could probably just, I could probably just make do it do with one. So there we go. Boom! Explosions. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I just, the problems with the Elledge, I have no idea. It just seems to kind of be like it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it probably the rocket was probably off, and off at a weird angle. It's probably why it didn't ignite. Oh well. We'll get it next time. But yeah, we actually got 5.5 science out of that because we got a vessel that survived a flight. So that wasn't actually too bad when it came to science. Alrighty, that was actually not bad. Cool. So yeah, mission controls will be happy as well. We completed their mission. Yeah, we got four new missions. Check that out. So we did first launch, so next one is... So Carmen Line's next. Okay, we can do... We can do Carmen Line. Sounding rocket contracts. Okay. Altitude low. Reach 40 kilometers with a sounding rocket. Okay. Yeah, I do plan to do that, so we'll do that. And we can also do X-Planes or Humans. Break the sound barrier. Crude and X-Planes. So yeah, that seems to go together as well. So, um, yeah. Okay, so we're back. So yeah, I decided that we're going to go ahead and do one more launch here. Uh, if we go ahead and check out the plan. Yeah, we got another Big Tim um, being worked on. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and build that. And then we'll launch the second Big Tim um, rocket. But first off, let's head to Research and Development. We do have 5.5 Science. Let's see what we want to get. So, we do have plane parts. Supersonic plane development. That'll give us turbojet air launch level one okay so you'll be able to air launch vessels up to 7.5 tons in mass and with dimensions okay 7600 meters yeah it's not a part you can use it just symbolizes new capabilities okay and then we get the x1 you know x1 could be cool yeah i think i will get that that'll get us the x1 and then supersonic flight 2 that gives us better air launches we research that too, 1950 to 1951. I think we can research that as well. Better supersonics. Right, oh. So, yeah, we could get that, but I think I'm just going to go down here and we'll get some stuff down here. I think what I want to get is post war material science that'll get us decouplers and a tank upgrade. Then we'll go ahead and get early solid rocket engines. That'll get us the Aerojet. Um. 2.5 KS and a small small separation motor. Yeah, um to help with yep, to help separate a stage or perform ullage. Yes, because we are having ullage problems, so that would be nice to get. And then I think for our last science we'll get basic solid rocket engines. That includes some more solid rockets. And one more science, um, Post-war rocket. Okay, we can't get that. Post-war rocketry testing. Some more liquid fuel things. What about down here? I think I'll actually just get the uh, post-war rocketry testing. Better engines, engine upgrades. A4 engine upgrade. Yeah, some good engine upgrades. Ooh, and an upgrade for the Aero B. That'll be, that'll be good. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. So we actually need to wait for the science to unlock. So we're we're researching all this stuff now, but just like our rocketry building, we need to wait for all this science to unlock. So. That's fine if we now check out the uh, the thing though. Yeah, we we could put some funds some funds into R and D. So we um there we go. We can put some points into R and D. So that'll be good. There we go. So let's go ahead and warp to complete. Recondition the launch pad. There we go. So launch pad's ready to go again. Let's go ahead and warp to Big Tim launch number two. Uh, no vessels under construction. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and roll out the Big Tim. So if we go to tech, we can actually see, yeah, we can see that supersonic plane development is actually 78% done. So that might be our next launch, would be um, an X-1. That could be kind of cool. Okay, let's go ahead and warp to roll out. 27th of June, 1951. Let's go ahead and launch the Big Tim 2. Okay, there we go. And just going to make sure... 
that we did grab our contract. Carmen line. Okay, so 100 kilometers. Okay, so that's Carmen line is 100 kilometers. Altitude sounding rocket low. Altitude above 40 kilometers. Okay, so that's our goal is 40 kilometers with this rocket. Okay, let's try and not mess it up this time. Three, two, one, go. Off it goes! Nope, okay. We had a failure. Okay, so that's obviously not working then. That worked in the testing. Okay, but obviously that method of ullage for the second stage doesn't work. Okay, so we need to do a, another another launch. Okay, good to know. So yeah, we need to build a better rocket that can actually do that. I think I'm just going to go ahead and ran range safety this. Yeah, there's no point. Uh, well, maybe, maybe we get more signs for recovering it again. Maybe. Let's go ahead and try and recover it again. Yeah, I mean, it worked in the simulator. Like, that, obviously, the that method of ullage works in the simulator. So, in theory, it should work. But, yeah, obviously, in reality, um, we, need, we, need, we need a better form of ullage for the second stage. Or just kind of forget about trying to have a, a, or a you know, third stage. Or just kind of forget about having a third stage and just try and, I don't know, maybe focus on getting that Aero B upgrade and then just expanding the second stage so that the second stage can do all the heavy lifting to a high altitude. Because, yeah, we did not get any contracts completed there, which is going to be a bit of an issue for us because, yeah, it's going to that's gonna hurt our funding a bit, having two rockets failed like that back to back. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't really get any data until we get above 40 kilometers. Yeah, like, it's, it's basically waiting for stuff to happen, but nothing's going to happen because, well, we're not. Yeah, we're below, we're, we're you know, we're near the ground. <laughs> the science has been done here before. Uh, yeah, all the way up to 40 kilometers because that's as high as um, passenger airlines can go up to 40 kilometers, so... Yeah, not really doing anything too too interesting here. Our space company's looking like quite a failure at this point. But hey, at least we launched, right? It's a rocket. Right? It's it's cool because it's a rocket. Yeah, I don't I don't really think anybody's impressed. Um blunk. Okay, we get a bit more science and a bit more data value. We got one more science from that, but yeah, nothing nothing remarkable. And we did get some funds back, so I guess that's nice, but a lot. Oh, we have some debris, though. Eh, a little bit of something there. Uh, let's see if there's any more contracts we can accept in order to actually... Hopefully... You know... Thing. X-Plane contracts. Here we go. We can we can accept this. Um, maintain between crewed aircraft. Remember on board. Yeah, so we'll, 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 we'll plan to do this. Fly to 3,400 meters. Crewed average. Okay, fruit aircraft, not a rocket. Maintain. Okay. I can't accept this yet? Why not? Okay, so this is not really an air launch thing. It's just kind of go up, fly around, come back down. Okay. So yeah, we're not really working. We're not really doing experimental rocket planes yet. Really completed for time. Okay. Yeah, what's wrong with this contract? I guess I'm missing some sort of requirement? Okay. At least we still got our sounding rocket contracts. So yeah, we still have this to do. Yeah, I, th I think we'll have enough money. I think we'll be fine. Well, anyways, um, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe for new videos. Have a great day. Take a rest of your day. And yeah, next time we will... Yeah, next time we'll actually try and build a rocket that can actually get past the um, the Carmen line. Hopefully. Yeah, I think we can I think we can probably get rid of this, this, st this, this stage right here. I really don't think we need this stage. We can probably just ditch it. Like... This'll probably work. Anyways, I'll see you then. Goodbye.